Hello guys, today we are going to be doing another episode of the Breaks Podcast. This is episode two. So, I am here with my guest, Sean Parsons, also known as Sean is Small. Go subscribe to him. Go, go, go. And, um, okay. so, today we're going to kick things off with Andrew Tate. <laughs> hey, Andrew. Hi. <coughs> Breathe air! <laughs> Breathe we're not going to give him too much credit for, um, his success, but we're going to... Anyway, let's keep going. Okay, so we're going to start things off, actually, with some Stranger Things What Ifs. Spoiler for all the seasons. All the seasons. All right. So well, if you haven't seen it, then uh, I'll go, go watch it. I'll let my um, special guest go first. Special? Yes. Thanks. You're welcome. Really? You're okay. not special, Andrew. Um, all right, let's go. Want some? Second. <laughs> it's got <a> <laughs> While he's doing something, I'll go first. So, I'm thinking of, like, if, like, let me think. I got one. Maybe if, like, Hopper didn't die. No, no, that's a bad, no. That's the, what if Hopper didn't die? Did, did, it, did, did die. it die? Did die. It did die. Well, I guess that would change some things, but it I can't. change tons of things. Like... I guess there wouldn't be the Russia storyline in the fourth episode, and pretty much, Elle would be way more mad, but I guess she already knew, or thought she, he was dead, so he, she wouldn't be really any much, any more mad, oh, but you would have guess, had, but, you would have had, uh, what's your face, the mom, Joyce, yeah, Joyce, <laughs> Joyce, Joyce would have been with them. When yeah, L the California taken, crew. So it kind of probably would. Yeah, that would change a lot, actually. And now Murray that would have had nothing to be involved with. Yeah, this. Murray would, like, it wouldn't matter. Anyway. All right, do you have one? Okay, um, what if Billy and Max never moved to Hawkins? What if they just never <laughs> came? Well, yeah. That's... That would change uh, that's Because it would have been a new host. What? It would have been a new host. Yeah, a new host. And they would have never found out who it was because yeah. they'd spin the bottle with Max. Mm-hmm. Man. Dude, there's so many what ifs that go down like a like a rabbit hole and then it just changes literally everything. I have one that's pretty good. It's um what if Steve didn't get the job at um Scoops Ahoy? Because if you think about it, that's pretty much the whole reason they got to like figure out what happened to the Russians or like like the Russians were in Hawkins. Because like that's connects to um the Hawkins uh or not the Hawkins the Russia, like, secret base, and therefore they'd all be pretty much dead, and all the, they'd open the portal, and they'd never close it, and then the world would be doomed, so, thank you, Steve. I, I mean, one, Mom. I have one that would have changed everything, man. Okay. And it's, it's kind of weird, because it actually would have probably, the world would have been destroyed if Dustin danced with Max instead of Lucas. Instead of Lucas. Uh, yeah, I'm hooked. Yeah. Okay, keep telling me. Because if if Dustin would, and Max were, like, a okay. thing, mm-hmm. um, Susie would have never been a thing, I feel like, because they never would have gotten, like, a relationship. And then they would have never been able to call through the the thing, the yeah. transmitter, yeah, yeah, the trans- to talk to Susie and intercept the Russian transmission. Oh, jeez, yeah, that does. And then they would have never even had anything to do with that and yeah and they couldn't have done anything yep. yeah Susie they wouldn't would be out. a thing wow unless unless but then still yeah I guess I mean he could have still met Susie but they yeah would, like Lucas could have met Susie. Susie but yeah they wouldn't like like each other and therefore she wouldn't have any like and like he wouldn't she wouldn't be inclined to tell him the um what's it called the something constant. I don't remember what it was, but that's good. <laughs> anyway, all right, we're gonna move on to our next segment. What do you want it to be? You can pick. I really don't care. What would you like it to be? <laughs> um, let's do. Um, let's just do some Marvel or Star Wars things. What do you want to? Did we do Marvel last time? We did a lot of Marvel last time. Yes. Then I think we'd rather do like Star Wars and stuff. Okay, let's do Star Wars. Even though there's not much. Yeah. Let's talk about DC. 
Alright. <laughs> Oof. Um, Oof. Are they... Do you know if they're doing this Flash thing? I think I'm late to it. I but. think they are. I think Ezra Miller apologized. I mean... <laughs> that's, that's gonna do much. It's not gonna change much, but oh, I cool. think they're still doing it because they kind of have to. And I heard that Michael Keaton Batman's gonna be like the Nick Fury of Avengers. It's gonna like assemble everyone together. Yeah, like Iron Man. But I don't know. I just have to make no sense to me at all how they're gonna pull that yeah, off. Yeah, me neither. Because he... I don't know. He was not the best, but he definitely was not the worst. So, I think they should have used Christian Bale, because he would have been great. And Well, if... No, nah, no. Nah, I don't know. Christian Bale, I feel like, just deserves to stay in, like, their own... Like, if you have Christian Bale do, like, a multiverse thing with, like, Robert Pattinson or whatever, <laughs> oh, like, the exact oh, copy off of... No Way Home. No Way Home. I feel like that wouldn't work. You, you no. shouldn't do that. No, that, that's should. totally going to ruin the character. Yeah, in they're, every single way everybody's going to, like, know, like, what they're trying to do. And then they're going to think even worse of DC, which is not a great hole to be in. But, um... Well, they are planning on doing what Marvel's doing. But they should have done that, like... They should have done that a long time ago. At least five years ago. But if you think about it, if they did use Christian Bale, he was not the best Batman. But he was a pretty good Bruce Wayne, but I don't think that trilogy would have been nearly as good without Heath Ledger's Joker. Like, the second one would would not be as good at all. Because he's done a, like, a okay job of doing the, um, like, Batman stuff, but he tries to disguise his voice way too much, like... Like, he makes his voice way too low. That's what I like about Robert Pattinson's Batman, because his voice is just kind of like that when he talks like that in English. I don't know. I I just like the villains from... If they had, like, that Batman be in the Justice League, like, if they did that... Uh, what I hate about DC is that they always start this trilogy and they just end it, and they just yeah. start a whole another one. Like, Robert Pattinson was fine... I liked it. I loved it. it. And, but then you have the Batman Justice League, and if just if DC decides that they're just going to cancel one of them because they want to keep doing one... Yeah. Because they're, they... They did, ruin everything. Yeah, totally. That, like, sure. um... Just have Batman have his own universe. Uh -huh. And that's it. Don't incorporate him in any multiverse stuff. Just keep him there, um, and you could do your own Justice League building event, or whatever you want to do. I know, but that's always really risky, because... Well, None of the plan. Justice League has not really been that great. Because, like, the movie, like, live action at least. The cartoons are meh. And so, like, what am I thinking of right now? But, what's his name? Ben Affleck. Like, didn't he confirm to come back? You're not in the frame. I am. Now you are. Alright, and then, and, and then, um, what's his name? I don't remember. Who's it? Like, Aquaman. I don't know. Anyway, that guy and um, they're all, Alfred. They're all Alfred? <laughs> trying to come back, I think. <laughs> Man, I am. What's his name? Ben Affleck. Not Ben Alfred. Anyway. And yeah, Ben Affleck like, is confirmed to come back. And same thing with the Aquaman guy. But like, I'm pretty sure they're making another Robert Pattinson movie. So that's going to have two Batmans going on at the same time. And I don't know how they're going to do that without getting rid of one of them, but they, they do that so often, and it's just kind of like they don't have any, like, confidence. Uh, DC just needs to make a move. I know, like, they've been waiting too long. If Black Adam succeeds, then uh, I think they're going to be good for a while, but if it, if it fails, uh, I think DC's done for. Mm-hmm. Dude, or I can't. unless it's a Flash movie, if it's still even gonna happen, redeem itself somehow. So, isn't there like gonna be an Aquaman too? But like, dude, all of their actors, Amber Heard, Amber Heard, I don't think, and be. Amber Heard was like a really big deal in that movie, and same thing with um, Ezra Miller. So like, they're losing so many characters right now. They need to have better casting. They that's, do that's need a much saying. better cast. I mean, Amber Heard is just... They didn't know if that would happen. And Ezra Miller isn't even that good of a person in general, which I don't know why. He did a good job with The Flash. It's just he's a bad person, so... 
Lord. Oh, <laughs> Lord. Lord, have mercy. Anyway, so like, um, Black Adam's coming out soon. And that's pretty much it. And the. In our movie, our movie's out. Our movie's out. Yeah, it's a Batman movie. It's really, really good. It's called Budget Batman. It came out. I right uploaded out the cringe, like John. yesterday. It's a try to cringe. Well, did that just fly across? That's cool. Yeah. Anyway, we're outside, so like that means. I don't know if you saw that, but that was a very nice butterfly that went around. Yeah. It's gone. Okay. And um, all right, now let's talk about stars. Even though there's not much to talk about. Oh, they did. Andor got delayed. Again, again, again. I don't really again. care. I'm not that hyped up for Andor. Oh, I, dude, I can't good. wait for Andor. It looks like it has potential to be better than Mandalore because Mandalorian, because if you think about it, look, they have so many, like, characters that we grew up with and, like, their, um, prime. Like, it's Vader, just, dude. It's just not. The Emperor. I can't wait. I, I say wait. if they want to succeed in Andor, they keep out of the air. No, I don't know about that. Well, because... I feel like a lot of people would be mad at that. Vader was already in Obi-Wan Kenobi a ton. And I feel like... No, he really wasn't. Yeah, he was. He wasn't in it a lot. He was in it a little bit, but... In, like, the original trilogy, up they to... They mess him up, though. If they mess Vader up... They're done. That's why I think yeah. they don't do it. I think they're it's putting him risk. in too much of the stuff. I agree with, but like, um, Disney has put him in like t two times the amount of screen time. They, they this, made, Disney made just Disney, Disney just didn't like him that much because of the whole Kylo Ren thing of him looking at the mask or whatever. Mm -hmm. Like they should have left that out. Like that's not has anything to do with Kylo Ren or whatever that crap is. Like he's my mentor. I don't. So they kind of ruined him there, but... I, I hate what Disney do, does with, like, childhood characters. If you think about it, like, look at Cars, right? They make, um, what's his name? What can I think of his name? Lightning McQueen. They make him so, like, weak in the third movie just to have, like, Cruz Ramirez, the real... Well, the he wasn't person. weak. He just, he was an older... I, he was just an older car for the time. I know, but they made him, like, so sad to, like, everyone. And then they need a female lead to get him, like, all good and, like... See, that's what I don't like about Disney's. Everything has yeah, to be something. about... I'm not against... Like, you can have a couple female characters, but it's just been a trend with Disney the last... I don't know. Just a couple... It's been for, like, almost forever. It, Disney, ever since they started, it's been all, like, princesses and mm -hmm. stuff. And they gotta keep going. And I understand that you want to have more female characters, because, like... When it comes to Marvel, female characters are hated on because of Captain Marvel, and she's kind of bad, mm -hmm. and I don't like Captain Marvel at all. I hated that movie so much. But people are giving hate to Miss Marvel because Marvel's in the name. I know, which, which honestly, is stupid. I think that Miss Marvel wasn't a terrible show. It wasn't that bad. You didn't see it, though. I didn't see the full thing because I didn't really feel like it. But, like, if you think about it... It was better than Captain Marvel. Think of all the people that Disney has made, like, amazing and then terrible. So, like, Luke, before Dis it was Disney's property, he was, like, in his prime. He was doing everything. And then when um, Last Jedi came around, they made him weak, old, and, like, just, like, I don't know. It was so annoying. They and couldn't then, redeem themselves. They and had, then they gave... They could have found Luke, and then Luke could have been, like, I don't know. Like, he could have been, when they were looking for Luke, he could have been doing something a bit more involved in like the sequels other than hiding like actually like fighting someone yeah. or like, doing something to help someone i guess i don't know but not just like hiding i feel like that would have made it better and they probably would have redeemed themselves if like luke actually slid the entire first order with a lightsaber like i'd love that like well, not, well that's an exaggeration but it's like but like they he is he could have been so strong because but then they made him weak, and then they had to have the female lead, Ray, talk him back into it, and then that just happens over and over again, every single one. I would have liked Ray if they would have just had Luke be good too, mm -hmm. and have Kylo Ren just be a bit more brutal, I guess, and not like all, well, my father said so, and all whiny and 
shirtless and just annoying. Yeah, and he was annoying, but he was probably like one of the he best. He kept going new back and people. forth between good and bad. I was like, Stop. I know, just, just like be bad. Just pick one. And then the Snoke thing, I was like, I don't care. Bro, they could have done so much with could, the Snoke. I would have had Mace Windu. You still have Mace Windu? Mace Windu. Yeah, Mace right. Windu been Snoke because he wanted revenge on Skywalker. Okay. So he used Kylo Ren against Luke, and then. Ray called herself Skywalker, and so he wanted to get rid of all the Skywalkers. That's why he wanted to find him. Yeah, I guess, but like he took a darker path or something. Like that was. If a you think at about it, point, that doesn't but... make much sense though, because he made um, what's his name? The Emperor made Snoke, right? Yeah, I know. And that doesn't well, make no, sense. but no, but before, before, I'm saying like, before they said that they were going to have that happen, it mm-hmm. should have been, like, no Palpatine was involved. In it. Oh, yeah, yeah, And, like, yeah. it should have been okay, Mace Windu. If they were to do Snoke, they'd have to make it Mace Windu. Or you just don't do Snoke, and you just have Kylo Ren be the leader, because you don't need a big person that's old and bad like you had in the past. I know. They, they, they try to do so much, which is what... And then, they, and then in points, they just don't try at all. Like, in Obi-Wan... They just did the exact same thing. They made Obi Wan weak, and then they had to have Reva and um, Leia just talking back into it, which is just stupid to me. I- I'm saying like you can have a good, healthy like. Reva wasn't that. Healthy. I mean, I hated, I hated how they brought her. I ha- I hated how they brought her back to life, like again. Twice. Yeah. After getting stabbed twice, but by I the actually, most powerful. I actually liked her guys. like villain. I liked it. I think it was good. I did not like it either. I mean, she was annoying, but she was smart. And that's what I like about it. And I hope you guys know, um, when I say I don't like Reva, that does not mean I don't like the actor. I'm just saying I don't like what Disney did with, like, her character. Oh, yeah, there could have been so much more potential with that. Like, like I don't think um, Hayden gets, should have, like, Hayden Christensen, he should not get the hate for, like, doing a, like a wimpy job of being like uh what's his name anakin but they shouldn't if anything they should bl- just blame disney because they are not disney uh lucasfilm i don't know because it's not his fault he's just reading what he's supposed to do he's doing what he's supposed to do and he gets way too much hate and it's not fair i don't think it is fair. i like revenge of the sith revenge of the sith was a good movie uh, the first one was, okay. I don't like the first one. The second one is probably my second least favorite. I don't like the second one much either. All right, rank them. You go. Ranking them? Yeah. Oof, okay. Like, are we talking Star Wars stories, too, or just, like, Uh, let's Skywalker just do, like, the Skywalker story. Okay, good. Um, Empire Strikes Back. Yeah. I want to say Return of the Jedi, but I think I'm going to go with The New Hope instead. And then Revenge of the Sith, and then Return of the Jedi. And then... And then probably the first one, and then maybe actually, yeah, the first one, the second one, and then seven, seven, nine, nine, eight. I'd go five, three... Four, six, one, seven, two, nine, eight. Seven wasn't terrible. I just felt like it was an exact copy off yeah, of yeah. the fourth one. I know, but like, I can't say it's like better than the second one. I did not like the second one at all. It wasn't terrible. I mean, it was actually pretty bad. I changed yeah, <laughs> I was like. What? If you took out all the Padme and Anakin I scenes, know. it'd be somewhat decent. But, <laughs> but then again, or kiss, again, it, it just kiss haunts me. <laughs> well, I, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'm sticking with that. All right, so times for the special segment. We are going to go bouncy, bouncy. We have a special segment. Oh, such a good. <laughs> We're gonna be bouncing Andrew Tate. All right. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's go, Andrew. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, <laughs> Andrew, no! 
Go get Andrew Tate. Go, go, go. <laughs> we must fight them. Oh my gosh, guys, this is bad. This is really bad. How are we gonna ruin people's day? <laughs> Come on, we. I think we ran the wrong way. Come on. <laughs> Do I see him? I see him, come on! Andrew Tate! Come back! Not Andrew, no! I see him! Alright, come on! Come on, buddy! Get on him! CPR! CPR! Breathe air! <laughs> <laughs> Breathe air! Breathe air! Breathe air! Breathe air! Come on, don't fall down, silly! Oh, no. gosh! Breathe air! <laughs> Andrew! Get him in the car. Go, go, go. Go, get him in the car. <laughs> He'll be okay. He'll, he's not going to... Don't die, Andrew. Don't die. All right. He's got it. He's got it. <laughs> Put it in his mouth. There he goes. All right. He's, he's good. He's good. That could have been bad. Could have been really bad. Sparkling water. Sparkling water. Oh. Breathe air. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Remember that when you die. Always just, just breathe air. Like, don't die. Breathe air. Yep. So, next week when we have Andrew on the podcast, actually, for real, I'm not absolutely knocked out, cold out in the front yard. He's over there. He's fine, though. He's okay. He's, he's, he's breathing like air. It's a good thing. Remember that. Oh lord. <laughs> Thumbnail. <laughs> Breathe. <laughs> Breathe air. Oh. It's not worming it to my side. Breathe air. Breathe air. Okay. Hey, 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 hey. Oh. They cannot see my real hair. Breathe air. Ooh. They can't see my real hair. Ooh. Ooh. It's in my brain. Ooh. <laughs> Sparkling Ooh. water is no pain. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I it's stubbed also, my toe. This is all over the floor now. Um, what we talk about now? Let's talk about Andrew Tate. Didn't he get banned? I don't know. He got banned from, like, CNN, I think. <laughs> Just um, kidding. I think he got banned from, like, I'll, I'll go ask him. Uh, well, let's ask him. Let's ask him. Be right back, guys. All right, I'm gonna go ask him. With me. bye. All right, I got him with me. I got him with me right here, as you can see. I'll place him right here. All right, I got him right here. Look, Sean. Look. Oh, hi, Andrew. You good? Okay. <laughs> Wait, are you still, uh, are you still doing the thing? Are you breathing now? Oh, oh yeah, say, uh, say. he, he has been banned from all media platforms. Really, man? Dude. Well, come on, then. Just breathe air. Did you know that, theoretically, if you breathe air, you would, um, not die? Right, Andrew? Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Sorry, excuse me, guys. Do I still in there? I'm good. There you go. I love you, Andrew. <laughs> Get to feed the dog. <laughs> Andrew likes his um, sparkling water. It just exploded everywhere. He has sparkling not. water. It's his, dude. You want to go tell him? <laughs> go be. Go tell him, Dad. I'm sorry, here. Andrew. <laughs> He's gonna beat you up. Oh, you better right, square right, up, go, bro. Andrew, let's go. <laughs> oh! Oh, Andrew. Yeah. Oh, no. Kickboxer. Oh. 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 A thumbnail. <laughs> We're all right. We have some good thumbnails to pick from. Are you okay? No. He, he also has a machete. <laughs> okay. So, um, that might do it for today. Um, if you want to see more of Andrew...
<laughs> then um, subscribe and watch next week's video because we may or may not have some Andrew Tate. Some more Andrew Tate. Love you. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> See you guys. Anything you want to say, Andrew? <coughs> Breathe I, air. You.